Hi friends, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance. I welcome you all to my channel. Thank you for such love, support, and joy. I'm loving it that I'm getting comments. It gives me so much excitement and joy to be on my path and on my journey to share my insights, to share um, what comes to me, what I'm able to channel and help another soul. So, like I said, this week I'm going to be pulling messages for us for every day of the week. So, I pulled a message from The Journey of Love, Alana Fairchilds, and I got the card. It says the cloak, card number 50. Five is about change. Look at that. That woman is walking into the light. She's got this cloak, which is, the, you may not be able to see the colors, but it's more like light purple. You see it? Do you see the coloring? That's spirituality. Higher self. Right? Okay, I'll read the channeling. Can you see the card? Yeah. It says, Around you, there is a cloak of your own creation. Perhaps it has served you for a time as an invisible form of protection, as a way to claim needed solitude, as a way to retreat inside to find out what you truly feel, what you truly need to find yourself after being lost in an ocean of thought and emotion. Not always your own, yet the time is fast approaching when you will no longer require that cloak. You have attained an integration within. A knowledge of self that makes it possible for you to connect with the world, with others, in a way that does not leave you lost in struggling to find yourself. You have learned how to hold yourself. You have learned how to do this well enough that you can successfully hold yourself and hold another too. You don't have to push the world away. You can invite it in and play. I love play. The message that this oracle brings to you is that you can safely release the forms of security that you once held. You do not have to abandon your boundaries with others. Rather, your boundaries are so functional that you can enter into relationships with more openness, trusting that your boundary will naturally assert itself when necessary, giving you the connection to yourself that you need when you need it without having to withdraw from the relationship entirely. It is time, it is time to trust your own boundaries and practice them. Practice letting them help you whilst actively engaging in deeper relationships. You'll have fun. Loneliness is like a ship in full sail with no wind and no place to go. You know, this is so synchronistic um, about this message coming in about the cloak. Yesterday, I was just feeling this energy. I was integrating my inner world and stepping in to the material world, if that makes sense. I've been doing a lot of inner work. I had isolated myself. I'm a very social, very, very social. Um, always in leadership. I just, my natural um, draw um, abilities. That's what I did even at workplaces. Um, you know, uh, I, was, I was a corporate person for all who do not know my journey. Um, and this anything that's not as a set goal, something that can be achieved and put in targets and um, put in terms of productivity and all of that working, you know, at sea level <laughs> positions and in positions of strategy. And um, I just mentioning it to someone, you know, like I was wearing my black suits, my navies and walk to work and then come back and... Um, this whole new realm was like, you know, you something like something like this when you pull like on a thread and it just starts unraveling. 
um, what I call, obviously there's nothing as an accidental. So when the journey had begun, it was that. And then slowly I was, um, I think it's the same for many of us. We start disconnecting. You're not feeling in tune with people you were with. There's nothing wrong. Uh, you just start to wonder what's wrong with you. What's going on with you? Something's wrong. But when that inner transformation, the inner journey begins, uh, there's a whole there's a whole set of things back and forth and new people the old people we are not resonating at that same frequency you're not on that vibrational match you don't know all of that you're trying to discover you're trying to find this is all like working in the darkness and you're trying to figure things out you reach out you learn um, why I say this about yesterday it was just incredible. I walked in at a social gathering and I embodied my divine feminine energy. I, um, I embodied it. No longer did I have my masculine energy that was distorted. And finally, as I was walking in and looking at hundreds of people and people, wow, Archana, what are you doing? You're glowing. Look at the change. And we haven't seen you. And I say, you will now. And I was just suddenly coming into my own when I was standing there and looking around. I didn't have judgment for a change. I didn't have those feelings that I generally would like either I don't fit in and I just don't fit in I just will never fit in with others um, it was just a sense of, sense of purpose like I'm meant to be here anywhere that I go I'm going to be this lighthouse without having to talk spiritual words just being me just being me and that was when I realized I was not wearing purple yesterday. Uh, it will be hard to believe, and I told this to all my friends, that I, for the first time in my life, I actually wore pink. <laughs> I think pink is so gorgeous. It's, uh, it just had a different feel for me. It's like, so all those conditioning, right? To me, that represented girliness, and that was not gonna be me. And strong, distorted masculine uh, energy. So this goes back, also I wanna tie into something that comes very strongly to me is, and I'll post a picture of that, I'll find that on the net, and I'll post it, and I'll um, attach it to the video. It's the hero's journey. It's Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey. So it's like, it says, you have, you have a circle, okay? So it's not cu cut from the center, so it's not going across the entire diameter, so it's just cut like a little bit, and then it sh says ordinary world, and then there is a gate, and then there is the extraordinary world, and then there is this back again, because the, 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 you know, the uh, diameter was right there, and then you go back in. So the hero is making a journey, from his ordinary world, there is a call to adventure. There's something that's calling me, and it was calling me there, away from the holy dumb of life, something that's just too ordinary, the same old, same old. And I get out of the same old, same old. And that, that looked interesting. Hmm, that's fun. I don't know, I don't wanna do it. So that call that goes back and forth, the call is so strong. And the hero says, okay, I think I'm gonna venture. And he goes into that, and there's a guardian of the gate. And the guardian of the gate. So there, there, there have many connotations. I'll actually do a hero's journey um, and a mythic journey, which is what we all are living on a day to day. We're all our own heroes. And we're fighting all our battles, right? So then he goes in, and there's these trials and tribulations. If you look at any of the superhero movies, your Disney movies, any of the mythical across the world, this is the pattern that we follow, right? There's no hero that's born right there. So we're showing that there is this ordinary, living an ordinary life, and then there is this call, and then you see for that, but you're not ready. 
you're not ready ready and then there are these trials tribulations challenges and obstacles and you make allies and their challenges and their enemies and then you fight these battles internal battles or the monsters outside you know you look at it in many which ways and then there, there then he and then and then they show that you know you reach like right at the pit right right at there right when you're right at the at the bottom it's called the belly of the whale right at there right the darkest part the darkest night and the biggest battle we always have that in any of these movies don't you see there's that final battle so it is the final battle that a hero has to fight this is where all the strength all the might all the learning all the allies everything comes together now what's happened along the way is obviously the hero has learned many things and when that final battle is occurring why does the hero choose to undertake this final battle he chooses to undertake that final battle because the weight now it's no longer just about him it's no longer about the hero or the heroine okay uh, it's no longer about him him not fighting that monster that negative energy is far greater it's going to cause a lot more harm on the world so the weight of the world rests on the shoulders of the hero and he steps into his power willing to sacrifice his self for the greater good that's when the transformation occurs that's the final battle when we step out of the self and we recognize that i will do this with all my might and when a soul a hero reaches that point all the allies all the strengths just are there and he emerges victorious and he is gifted with an elixir a nectar which is not of this world which is extraordinary which is extraordinary and now he was given this gift so that he can share this elixir oh i have these beautiful white butterflies are around me so he can share this beautiful elixir with the world so then he goes travels back <laughs> yes my animations alongside so we're trickling back up and i'm like no we don't want to go back this world is amazing i like this this is completely different from what i've done i don't want to go back to my ordinary holy damn life that's boring okay. so a hero may decide that he doesn't want to go back he likes this he wants us to end this the unseen world <laughs> the the extraordinary world but he's a hero he's got to share his wisdom and gifts with the world that's the job description okay it goes with the job description so when he decides that he's not going to when when he's struggling with not going I don't want to go back to the ordinary world then again we have the guardians who're going to like kind of pull him up back up they'll be guys they'll be guardians to make sure he goes back into the ordinary world now when he crosses remember the threshold there two two thresholds one was the ordinary world where he starts and he comes in as the first one where he starts the journey the trials tribulations strengths allies enemies the big battle and he gets the elixir and now he has discovered something he is changed forever forever and ever nothing can ever be the same he has this and now when he passes this elixir i mean he passes this gate one more time to get back into the ordinary world he is changed i have some kids who just walked in I'm going to be ending this recording anyway. That's what this cloak is. This cloak is that you've integrated all the wisdom and all the knowledge through all your trials and tribulations and all the journey that you have had. And it is time. Use that. Embrace that. 
stand in that power. Be that lighthouse wherever you are. You don't have to force change. Change occurs. It's not your job. Your job is just to be you. Shining that light. I shared that with somebody. Uh, somebody mentioned it yesterday. You know, um, I attract that in my world, right? And she goes, you know, I, I, I don't want to do this and they're not changing. That's not. I'm like a lighthouse. Does not go follow everybody and say, oh, 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 you know, that's a light. You stand stronger and brighter knowing that anyone who's coming in your energy field at that time is going to be changed forever. Take that cloak. You have integrated all that you need to and embrace. And embrace. You're the master of the two worlds. That's the word. That the hero, when he emerges out of that extraordinary cocooning phase, is now a master. He's the master of the two worlds. He can go in and draw that infinite wisdom anytime he wishes. Anytime he wishes. So I wish you a week of many blessings. I hope you've enjoyed my storytelling. Um, <laughs> I think I'm coming into my own now, um, being more authentic of who I am. And I wish you much love and joy. And I'm going to now do a reading for the next day.